Good morning from Pendine. We're not walking from here. Today we're walking from Zenor to Pendine. So we're going to jump on a bus which is going to take us to Zenor. Free parking, which is always useful, so we can leave the car here all day. Spa shop to fill up on provisions if needs be. There's the bus stop to get us to Zenor. Nice bus journey through the very narrow lanes. Hats off to all bus drivers around here, by the way. Don't know how you do it. It's too early to go to the pub, isn't it? It's just we had our drink yesterday. Yeah. After we was exhausted. After our long walk yesterday. And I downed a drink in no time. <laughs> you did. Me. There's the pub ahead. We're going to find the route back to the coastal path. So what time is it? We have to wait for the bus. It's a little bit late. Now we're on route and we've got as much time as we need because the car's waiting for us when we get to Dundee. Yep. So yesterday we walked from Leland to St Ives and from St Ives to here. Zemmel. Zemmel. And today our journey continues. Back on the path. Pending watch, seven miles that way. And the start of this route, it's downhill all the way. Before it levels out just over there. Over there we have Zen Head, very popular spot for people to visit. And on a good day like today, the views are spectacular. Stunning little beach below. But we're way up here on the footpath. It's quite high up here. Just looking down from here, you don't realise how high it is. And so you're looking down. Shorts or no shorts? You don't want to get had by a tick. I'd say no shorts. So we've just walked along the top of there. We've come down. And now we have another great view of Zen ahead. The sea is clear, beautiful colours. Over there, where we're heading for, is Gurnar's Head. A very prominent feature on this route. miles to go but we're going to make a quick diversion to Gurnar's Head and have some lunch. It's lunchtime! Looks a good spot for a picnic. Looks a great spot for a picnic. Glorious views my dear. Raw 
we're on our way again. That was a perfect place to stop off for a sandwich. Just coastline ahead. <laughs> I think that's Pendine Lighthouse ahead. And look at this lovely grassy bank path. <laughs> look at that view. Just look at the ocean. This is a little acorn sign. Oh, must be on the right path. Wild ponies on route. Let's hope this one's friendly. He's right on our route. Hello, I'm your friend. I'm going that way. <laughs> Hello. Well, they were no trouble. Like I said, they must be used to people walking this path. Another stunning cove. Another marker. Hasn't given us the number of miles to go. Not to worry. Very wise guidance. Bossy Grand Cliff Castle. We're gonna go that way. That's the bluebells. Zenor is somewhere way, way, way in the distance over there. And just behind the lane is where we're heading for, Pendine. So that's where we're heading for. Slowly but surely across the coast. Amazing views on this part of the southwest coast, I have to say. Bring your camera. There are plenty of photo opportunities. Two and three quarter miles to Pendine Watch. And we just have to go a little bit beyond that. So you could argue it's probably three miles back. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, watch out. Danger mine shafts. Keep to footpaths. And here's one of your mine shafts. Then stuff. Thank goodness. Lovely wild meadow. We're here in late spring, so if you want to see plenty of wildflowers, this is a perfect time of year to come here. 
seem to be on the flat again. Well over halfway now. Fancy that. Nature of this best. It's a bit boggy round here. Plenty of frog spawn though. Frog spawn everywhere. Well, Lane's just spotted way in the distance Gernard's head. That's where we had lunch. We've come a long way since then. We've been on the move virtually all the time. Not far to the lighthouse. Just over there. Someone's put out the bunting for us here. Welcome, thank you very much. So that down there is poor Theras Cove. Popular, but not overly crowded. It's what you want from the beach, isn't it? How much, Elaine, do you like lighthouses? One gun, sir. Oh, they're amazing! I think they're right. I could take them even, really. Oh, I love a good lighthouse. Love a good lighthouse. Where's our path gone? Well, he's looking around. So am I. Wow. So we're in the lighthouse, we've come in slightly inland. It's taken a short while, but that's this coastal path. It's a bit worn out, but it's definitely the side to take the path. You see the captain's house opposite you know you're going to be on the right path. Let's go. We continue into the tin mine before we head into Pendine Town. So we're just going a little bit further before we head back into Pendine. If you can see the chimneys ahead, I can only imagine that's part of the tin mine. Wow, look at that for a sight, that's brilliant, the old tin mine, that's an amazing view. we're going to leave the path for today and rejoin tomorrow at this point here with that view okay watch tomorrow we have got to talk about miles <laughs> and the route we've covered so we'll do that in a few moments back into Pendine and the car how many miles today Elaine? 10 Point eleven. Oh, a shorter day <laughs> by two miles. Oh, no, actually, today's walk's been really nice. It's been lovely. Really nice. Still ten miles though. Still ten miles. Still double figures. Yeah, imagine if we'd walked from St Ives Day, it would have been sixteen. Don't know how we could have done it. So I'm glad we broke mile, it up. Just over a mile of that is probably getting to and from the path, so it would have yeah. been nine. Good job we split it into two. Good job we did. Well done. After a hard day's hike, you can't beat a good pub meal. Mm. Well deserved. Looks delicious. Today, we parked in Pendine and we took the bus back to Zena and we walked back to Pendine. That was a really nice walk actually. 
Enjoyed that dance.